What's up, everybody? My name is Howard Henley, and I am the host and creator of The Culture Club. It's the interview on everybody's minds and on everybody's DVRs. Are you going to be OK? Yeah. I hope I'm going to be OK. Keeping up with the Kardashians, Papa Bruce Jenner had his sit down with Diane Sawyer Friday night, bringing in over 16 million viewers. Jenner confirmed rumors of his drastic gender transition from male to female. Here at the Culture Club, we cover everything, entertainment news, health, beauty, fitness, tech, travel, everything under the sun, everything pop culture. Oh, you guys, I watched this interview myself and I can honestly tell you, I don't think that this is a publicity stunt. This is real life. It's real. I am the main host, and we have two other hosts that join me every episode. And we switch them out, we rotate them out just to keep the show fresh. People Magazine has confirmed that Tina Knowles, mother of Beyonce Knowles, has tied the knot to actor Richard Lawson. The ceremony was held on a yacht Sunday off the California coast. This is both Tina and Richard's second marriages. The two have been together since 2013, finally going public October of last year. Not only are we the experts in entertainment and pop culture, but our show has celebrities. Did I mention that we do have celebrities? I have been hosting shows for years, and I can honestly say that this is my favorite project to be a part of. It's so much fun, and we have a great time doing it too. <laughs> now, so I have my Verizon wireless bill, uh, which is extraordinarily high. So I want you to sing my bill to me. My Verizon! <laughs> our show has a play along factor. Uh, each episode, we allow the viewers and our fans to get involved by tweeting us and by sending us video responses that we actually play on air. Now, each week, we ask you as a fan to send us your video responses. Well, if you didn't know who he was before, you certainly do know him now. <laughs> Walking Dead star Chad L. Coleman had a complete meltdown Friday while riding a New York City subway, screaming out things like, yes, I am Chad Coleman and I'm on the wire. This rant was <laughs> captured and leaked online by cell phone video. You guys, this is kind of a sad story, it right? Is. Well, he's a guy that can sing an eviction letter to you and make it sound absolutely amazing. <laughs> American Idol finalist. Jacob Lusk joins us. What's up, Jacob? How, How are you? Are you? I'm, I'm glad to be here. That's quite quite an introduction. It was a good introduction, right? <laughs> now, what did being on Idol mean for you? I mean, I don't know if you're an artist, but artists, you know, you struggle and you work really hard to get to a certain place. <laughs> yeah, I'm an artist. <laughs> <laughs> and you, That's me. You know, you know, you go through things. You, you struggle and you work hard, and I've written for other artists, so American Idol was kind of like. God kind of patting me on my back and saying, you're all right, dude, just keep working, it's gonna happen. Th that was kind of like my sign of you're on the right track, more yeah. or less. It's the Culture Club.